Okay, guys, so here is the final outlook of the skirt. You can wrap it sideways, you can wrap it also at the center, front. So, for this skirt, I use one yard of fabric, depends on the size, anyways. So, you can try out yours and post it on our Facebook page, Alvilla Sewing Hub. If you want to see how I make this skirt, so stay with me to the end of this video. Welcome back guys. If you're new here, please kindly like this video, comment and also subscribe to this channel and click on the bell like notification button so you get notified each time I drop a new video. You're highly welcome to my oldies. I so much appreciate you. Thank you for coming back to this channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to be learning how to make a wrap skirt with frills. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Right now, my fabric is folded into two. Now, to know the amount of fabric to fold is that you use the biggest circumference of your skirt's measurement. Then... I'm adding 8 inches to that measurement. That is to say, I divided my hip measurement by 2 plus 8 inches. So from here to there is my half of my hip measurement. So from that point where my hip measurement ends, I added 8 inches. Because I don't want the overwrap to be too exposed on the tie. Now I'm adding up the 8 inches to half of my hip measurements so that's how to know the amount of fabric to fold example if your hip measurement is 40 you divide it by 2 because the fabric is folded into 2 then you add, add 8 inches to the measurement right now I'm cutting that part off so next now once I'm done with that, is to take, that is my center front, and there is my center back. So next now is to take the length of the skirt, which is 20 inches. So I'll be marking the length of the skirt from that end to the other folded end, as shown. So I'll be cutting that part off now. So here I've cut in my measurements for the wrap skirt. So I'm done with that now. On the waist, I'll be measuring down 11 inches can also use 10 inches or 9 inches but the lesser inches you use the more revealing the tie will be so I'll be using 11 inches because I don't want to expose the tie that much so I mark my 11 inches there then on the down part now I will measure in 8 inches Next is to connect my 8 inches to the 11 inches up there. Then I'll cut that part off. Please don't forget to follow us on Facebook on Elvilla Sewing Hub. Once I'm done with that now, I'll be imputing, that is my center back over there, I'll be imputing half of the apex measurement, which is 3.5. Then I will take the length of the dart, which is 4 inches. Then from that point, I'm going to be taking the width of 
the dart, which is one inches. Next is to notch my dart point. After that, we open it up to the wrong side. Then you see, you secure your dart by sewing it up on the measurements given. So I'm done with sewing my dart now. The next thing now is to measure that end from that end to the down part of the skirt and to the other end of the skirt as shown. So here my 60 inches has ended on the tape rule. So from that point, I'll begin with one inch. I'll measure it up now to the waist. Whatever that gives me, I will just multiply it by two to cut out my frills. Here I've cut out the frills. Then the length, the length of the frill is six inches. Then I'll be using half inch to hem it and on that end I'll be folding it half inch in and half inch in again. Then I'll hem it on one inch. On the other end I'm going to be hemming it as well on one inch. After that I'll make a gather stitch up there. So I'm done with my gather stitch now. So I'll place my frills now on to the skirt, right side facing right side. Then I'll pin them up now and sew it on half of an inch all around the measured area. I hope you are enjoying this video so far. Please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like and share this video, please. And also subscribe to this channel. And click on your bell like notification button so you get notified each time I put up a new video. So here now, I've attached my frills to my skirts. I've gone ahead to attach it now on half of an inch. So here is what it looks like. The next thing now is to measure up the waist. From that end where my I attached my frill, I'll measure it to, from that end to the other end to cut out my band so I measure it from there to here now this skirt is going to have a strap at the back so from that end I will be marking out 20 inches for the strap or belt so I'll be cutting them together with the band so on that part i took 20 inches on this side 20 inches on the other side and on the skirt i have 50 inches so all together is 90 inches i've cut out a band piece of 90 inches by width and the length is 2.5 inches now i fold into two to mark to notch the center point of the band. I also fold my skirt into two and notch the midpoint. Now I'll be placing my band 
onto the skirts making sure the notched um both band and skirts are lines so first thing is to sew from that notched end to that point then i'll sew again from that notched point to that point so i finish sewing it now here is my right side of the skirt so next thing now is to fold my band into two as shown then i'll further fold it into fold it in by half then i'll be sewing it now to secure it on quarter inch so i'm going to be folding it all the way from that skirt to the strap so at that end you just fold in half inch then you make a top stitch on the end of the band then you sew on quarter inch So guys, don't forget to follow us on Facebook on Elvilla Sewing Hub and also on Instagram on Elvilla Couture. I hope you've subscribed guys because we have so much to learn on this channel. And also don't forget to click on the bell like notification button so you get notified each time I drop a new video. If you like this kit or you want me to make any style tutorial, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. I'll be waiting there for you all. Thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing and for sharing this video. Until I come your way next week. For now, bye.